funny guy. Yeah. And listeners in his own show say it's really difficult to keep a straight face when doing scenes with him. Talk to me about your experience with your on-screen brother. Is was it the same when you guys were filming this this movie? I mean, it was almost like he and I were already brothers and sisters before we even started. You know, it's like my first impression of him, he kept trying to FaceTime me. And I hadn't even <laughs> and I hadn't even met him yet. So I just was like, who is this Yahoo? Like you can't you can't surprise FaceTime somebody you've never even met. I did surprise Like you were like I totally forgot about that. I was that. like, this is so rude. <laughs> I, who I is was this doing person? the opposite. I was doing the opposite. I was like, I wanna FaceTime. Build yeah, the yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. no. <laughs> so, but then we got to set, and the first thing, it's like he's got this boom box. So then I'm like, who is this with this boom box? He's <laughs> like blasting all this music. And, but I, but no, I love him. Like, I adore him so much. And, you know, yeah, our, our relationship on screen is really fun. You know, there's a, you know, part where you know, uh, Black Adam thinks yeah. we're husband and wife. And it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, no, gross. No, yeah. never, never. <laughs> you know, so, um, but yeah, but I have children and, you know, now he's Uncle Mo. Oh, we were FaceTiming him last night. Yeah. And no, it's just beautiful. Come swim in my pool in in, uh, in Atlanta while we were filming. It was just a lot of fun. We really bonded. We really bonded, and it was an immediate. Time. I totally forgot. I <laughs> <laughs> now you're FaceTiming me. <laughs> so I would just Face. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Just spontaneous. And I just be like, <laughs> she'd be like, who's the psychopath? Ignore. Just right out the gate. <laughs> I didn't even well, think how strange that is until now. Great. <laughs> uh, it's obviously very special, and to see this character come to life, and it's a testament to DJ and and his vision and and his team that try to bring this together. Uh, it, it's 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 going to take time for me to truly understand what's happening. I mean, the fact that I have a show out talking about you know my culture, my background, where I come from, and being in Houston, Texas. And then having the movie come out seven weeks later is just really, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to put it into words, honestly. It's just so many, it's a long time coming. And the and in the end, it's about the quality of the work, right? It's like, no matter what, it's like representation is nice. Diversity is obviously really important. And inclusion is really important. Uh, however, the quality of the work, the quality of the story, the, the, the layers that are baked into your work, the, the art that is timely yet timeless. This is what it's about for me, and, and the rest of it will come as long as we're putting out stories like this. Behind you! Did he just catch a rocket? He caught a rocket. There were parts in the movie where we were like, we were literally like yelling and screaming and like, in excitement at how good this film really is. Oh, that yeah. being said, I would love to know, since both of you have seen it, what was the feeling like for each of you after it was over? You know, for me, there was this, you know, I felt a lot of pressure in this movie, just in a sense that, you know, Adriana, she represents a lot, you know, and I'm Persian. Everything that's happening right now in Iran, I'm pretty, um, you know, connected to. And it was a moment for me where I was like, okay, I'm playing this female fighter. She's leading this, you know, revolution against this oppressive society. So it was a true honor to play Adriana. And when I saw the film, I feel like the resounding impact it made on me is I was like, oh, thank God it worked. Yeah. Like I was like, oh, like it almost felt like I could breathe. You know, there's so much of that stuff as CGI. It's just like, you don't know what it's gonna look like in the end. And for it to come out almost like a masterpiece yep. of cinema was just beyond anything I had ever expected. No, it was really, dark. I was really relieved, honestly. When yeah. we finished, it was kind of <laughs> sad. You juggle all these emotions. You're, you're waking up, you're meeting everybody, you're seeing everyone. There's so many, uh, you know, kind spirits that you're hanging out with and being part of, but Again, I had to go right into filming a special and then a series, so it was like no time to waste kind of thing to, to really mull it over, but I missed it a lot. And I missed the people more than anything else, and it was just, um, it was a wonderful experience I'll never forget. And now it's immortalized in this great film. Film, Black Adam, 21st, baby. <laughs> well, you guys, I am out of time. Mo, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And Sarah, it was great speaking with you. This film 
It's up there. It's one of my favorite DC films. So congratulations. Amazing. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you so thank much. You. Much love.